What will you do when you have a file to store? Will you use USB or an external hard drive which can be easily lost? A computer which is not portable and inconvenient to read? Or various cloud storages where you need to pay premium prices and may encounter privacy issues? Now, here comes the question. Is there a way that is cost-effective, fast, and private to store your data? Actually, there are a lot of underutilized storage servers around the world. If linked together, these unused resources can form a huge storage network. You only need to pay a small amount of fees to have access to the storage service. This is CRUST, a network that uses blockchain technology to integrate and allocate storage resources. And the storage method is called Web3 Decentralized Storage. Now let's look at how files are stored by CRUST Network via the Decentralized Storage Market DSM. Anyone who wants to store something can broadcast on the chain through DSM. After receiving the broadcast, the nodes on the chain will begin to react. When the files are being uploaded, they will be labeled an exclusive CID, content ID, and divided into several blocks. Then these blocks will be transferred to the responding nodes through IPFS or other P2P protocols. Soon, the file blocks in your computer can be transferred and you can turn off your computer. However, the transmission is not over. The nodes that received file blocks will continue the process until there are enough nodes that store the complete copy of the file. When you need to read the file, you only need to enter the CID of your file, which pulls data from multiple nodes that store this file. Soon, you will have your file again. This exclusive CID ensures that the file will not be tampered with or faked. In this way, you can get the exact same copy of what you stored earlier. Underused storage resources mean extremely low marginal costs. More copies maintain the availability of the file, while the CID can ensure that no one tampers with it. This is the advantage of Web3 decentralized storage. We are now living in a century of information where the value of data is being increasingly recognized. Data with value can be tradable in the near future. However, all of this is based on data storage and authentication rights, which the Web3 decentralized storage makes possible. This is CRUST, a network aiming to build a decentralized cloud ecosystem that values data privacy and ownership. In this lesson, we'll learn economic knowledge related to CRUST. Firstly, I'll introduce the basic information of CRAS native token CRU. Then I'll briefly explain the GPUS mechanism. Finally, I'll introduce the pricing method of the CRAS storage market. The native token of the CRAS network is CRU, and you can find this information on CoinMarketCap. CRU tokens are generated in two ways. One is one-time generation when the main network starts. The other is with the generation of blocks. The initial supply are 20 million. This is the distribution of the first 20 million tokens. 15% of the sold token in the private round are circulable at TGE, and remaining 85% will be linearly unlocked in 80 months after the mainnet. Tokens sold in the C round are fully locked and will be linearly unlocked in 80 months after the mainnet. Tokens reserved for the team and the foundation are fully locked and will be linearly unlocked in 24 months after the mainnet. Community development are used for centralized and decentralized exchange liquidity, testnet rewards, storage activity rewards, and so on. BD and marketing tokens are used for marketing purposes such as airdrops and other marketing activities. The tokens generated by the block have rewards every circle. The total distribution method is as the chart. From the second year onwards, it will be reduced by 12% each year and will not decrease until the inflation rate of the whole network reaches 2.8%. As the native token of CRAS, CRU has six main functions. Staking to maintain the GPOS consensus of the CRAS network, used to guarantee the selected nodes, serving as collateral for providing resale service, serving as a transaction fee for using the network, used to purchase resale services, 
used for election and voting of on-chain governance mechanism and vote on proposals. Next, I'll introduce you to GPUS consensus mechanism. This chapter will be helpful for those who want to become a CRASP node or CRU holder. The blockchain consensus in the CRASP network is GPUS, which is called Guaranteed Proof of Stake. GPUS is a kind of POS consensus mixed with POW. Under this mechanism, two types of assets, storage resources and CRU tokens are both required to become a node. The validator and candidate in this picture are actually storage nodes of the CRASS network. The network will calculate a staking limit based on the storage space. Nodes can choose to buy CRU by themselves, or they can choose to accept guarantees from other CRU holders. This involves a very important role in the CRASS network, the guarantor. The guarantor may be just a CRU holder. He can choose to stake CRU for the node so as to share the node's income. The amount of staking exceeding the staking limit is invalid. So, how does the guarantor choose the node and stake for him? This is the staking page of CRASS Maxwell Preview Network Apps. Here you can see the list of validators, and the network has calculated the staking limit for each node through a formula. Guarantee fee represents the income ratio when the guarantor stakes CRU for this node, and this fee rate is set by the node. Take the first node as example. His own effective stake is only 25 CRU. In order to reach his staking limit as much as possible, he set a relatively high guarantee fee to attract the guarantor to stake for him. Another example, the staking limit of this node is 10177 CRU, and his own effective stake has reached 9384, so he doesn't need to attract a guarantor to help him, so he set the guarantee fee to zero. Therefore, as long as you hold CRU, you can join the mining network to earn income even if you don't have a mining machine or hard disk. Finally, as a storage protocol, how is the price for storage calculated? Storage cost equal basic fee plus dynamic adjustment rate times byte waiting fee times file size plus tips. The upper part of the chart represents the utilization rate of the storage resources across the network, and the lower part of the chart represents the price of the order. When the resource utilization rate of the whole network is high, the order price will increase. When the resource utilization rate of the entire network reaches a certain height, the order price will begin to drop. The price fluctuation of storage will become smaller and smaller, and finally will stabilize at a price accepted by the market. You can find all this information at the bottom of the lesson. In this lesson, we will learn how to store and transfer your files through Crest apps. This lesson will help you complete the last question of the quiz. The step one. Locate CRASS apps. Search for CRASS network on the web and find our official website. Click Maxwell CRASS apps. If you are connected to the CRASS Maxwell apps, you need to switch to CRASS mainnet apps. The orange themed apps are the CRASS mainnet apps. Step 2. Create a CRASS mainnet account. Click Accounts and select Add Account. Please remember your mnemonic and then click Next. Set your username and password. Click Save, and your JSON file will be downloaded automatically. Here you can see your account and your CRU balance. Step 3. 
Make sure you have CRU for placing orders. You can see your balance on your accounts page. You can ask your friends for CRU and click on your avatar to copy your class address. Another way, you can buy ERC20 CRU through Uniswap or Centralized Exchange. Select the document wiki page of the official website and find CRU claims. This guideline can help you convert the CRU on ERC20 to the class chain. Step 4. Locate storage order page. Select storage market in the menu. If you have an IPFS desktop locally, you can select IPFS user. Run your IPFS desktop, select Files, Import, and you can upload your files. If you don't have IPFS desktop, we have deployed a more convenient gateway to upload files directly on the web. After the mainnet goes alive, we will continue to optimize products and cooperate with other ecosystems to allow users to experience more convenient storage methods. Step 5. Place a storage order. If you don't have IPFS desktop locally, select Storage Market, Storage User. There are two gateways to choose from. This video uses Deco Gateway as a demonstration. Click Upload File and select the file you want to upload. It is recommended to choose a file below 10 MB to facilitate your experience. Enter the password and click Sign and Upload. This is the page for payment. Early network storage costs are very low, but you must have a CRU balance to place the order. If the order is successfully placed, you will see the green hint, Order in Block. This is your file upload list. The order you just placed will show pending, and you need to wait for a while. After a period of time, your order will show success, and you can see the expiration time of your file in the network, and the number of copies in the entire network. At this time, click the file CID of this order to copy it. The last question of the quiz requires you to fill in your order CID. Step 6. Download or transfer your file. Find the storage user page. Find the file you want to share. Click the button and the system will automatically copy the link. You can open the file directly in a browser. If the file type cannot be read by the browser, it will be automatically downloaded to your device. We are still optimizing the download function, and there will be a dedicated download button in the future. In this lesson, we will learn about the ecological development of CRAST. CRAST roadmap and some applications based on the CRAST storage network will be introduced. We also provide some methods for you to further engage with CRAST, such as applying for our grant or ambassador programs. The CRAST team was established in 2018. After two years of chain development and model building, Rocky DevNet was launched in the first quarter of 2020. On November 20 last year, the first phase of CRAS Public Incentive Testnet Profit Arc was launched, and the test on the node side started. On February 4th this year, the Maxwell Preview Network was launched, and Maxwell opened almost all of the same function as the main network, including node mining, guarantor staking, and storage market. At the beginning of September, CRAST will officially launch the mainnet. After the mainnet goes alive, we will pay more attention to the promotion and development of the application side. We will also participate in the upcoming Kusama and Polkadot slot auctions. In the long-term future, we will continue to optimize and upgrade functions and try to explore other storage layer protocols and cloud computing fields. 
Since Cross officially opened its storage function on February 28 this year, some applications inside and outside the blockchain industry have begun to use Cross storage. You can browse your favorite videos on Sockbay, a video site based on the Cross network. You can also use Deco, a file transfer application based on the Cross network, to easily upload or share your files. Singso is a medical NFT company. Similar to UniArts, Kaka, they all store NFT data in the Cross network. In March of this year, Uniswap merged our DApp deployment code, and now you can access the Uniswap DApp on the IPFS network. IPFS has now listed Cross as an ecological project on its official website. In order to improve the full stack application of the Crust ecosystem, we launched the Crust Grant, encourage developers to develop more comprehensive applications based on the Crust storage network. Crust Grant was initialed by Decentralized Cloud Foundation. If you pass the review, you can get money and extra rewards. We have given guidelines so that developers can develop applications for these six layers. If you want to know more, you can search for our articles on Medium. Crust is a project determined to spread nodes all over the world. We need talents from all countries to help us jointly promote the development of the project. We are currently recruiting ambassadors for these five categories. We will also hold incentive activities from time to time to reward ambassadors who have made outstanding contributions to Crust. You can search Crust Ambassador directly on Twitter. In the last section, I will provide some websites and communities to help you better understand Crust. This is the official website of Crust where you can find Crust apps, Crust wallet, economics and technical white papers, and wiki documents, etc. Crust has two official Twitter accounts. We will announce our latest progress and activities here as soon as possible, including some attractive airdrop activities. Medium is also an important channel for our announcement. If you want to contact the Cross team further or participate in discussions or questions, you can join our Telegram community. The main group is the English community. We also set up communities in six other languages, as well as price and technical discussion groups. We will hold events in the main group from time to time to promote our latest developments or to give you some opportunities to meet our ecosystem partners. Every AMA or activity will give generous rewards. According to your own preferences, you can also join our Discord community to participate in the discussion. You can find all the links and information at the bottom of the lesson.